Hey guys and welcome to my kitchen. I'm so excited you're here with me today. Today is going to be a really fun, quick, easy uh, video. Mike, if you've watched a few of my videos, you know my husband Mike, he's from England. And so the very first time that we went over to England, I tried my very first sausage roll. And I was blown away with it. It was so delicious. I think we must have had half a dozen in the two and a half weeks that we were there. But um, I want to show you just how easy it is to do the sausage roll here across the pond. I am cheating today. I can do a rough puff pastry. I'm busy. I just put a chili on back here. I have more things to do. I'm still trying to dry all my herbs out of the garden. I'm going to cheat today and I'm going to use these puff pastry sheets. You can get um, puff pastry in your refrigerated section, in your freezer section. I just pulled them out. You want them to be really chilled, but obviously not frozen because you can't um, roll these out. So I've got these on the counter. While we put together our sausage, they can be thawing just a bit. If they do get to be too warm, just throw them back in the freezer for a few minutes. Um, because you don't want that butter to melt all over. We also want to get over here and start our oven at 425. So while that's preheating, we're going to put all of our seasonings into our sausage. Now, like I said, I already have a sausage. It's pre-made from the farm, but I like to doctor it up some. So we're going to add some uh, some different seasonings here. So in my bowl, I'm going to add my pork or my sausage. I mean, really, this just kind of goes off of like what is your taste preference. You can do these spicy. Mike even likes just cheese and onion rolls without the sausage. Around Christmas time, I kind of go a little crazy and start making a lot. Our friends next door, they like our, the sausage rolls, so I'll make them some for Christmas. But we're going to start off with one pound of pork or pork sausage. And to that, we're going to add, because this is already sausage, I'm just going to add like maybe, uh, what is this? Maybe half a teaspoon of salt. This is some uh, sage from our garden this year. We want to add about a teaspoon of that. Now this has got to be crushed up a little bit, but... We'll just get, we'll get some in our hand. I don't know about you, but I like sage in my sausage. If you don't like sage, don't add it. Like I said, this just kind of goes off of what you like. And I'm going to add a half teaspoon of black pepper, half teaspoon of onion and garlic powder. A very interesting um, spice to add is mace and nutmeg so you just want a pinch you don't want a lot just want a little pinch of that my nutmeg's almost gone and just a pinch of nutmeg it kind of gives it a nice flavor now i'm just going to get my hands in here i'm going to mix up these spices i'm just going to add a little bit of water to help incorporate some of the spices You can also do this in your food processor. So I wiped all my surface real good. I'm going to just take and dust it with some flour. Got my pastry. If you're not careful and you open this before it's um, thawed out, it'll crack on you. So let it give it some time and let it um, come up a little bit to room temperature. So while we're waiting on our uh, pastry to thaw, I just took some parchment paper, put it on my biggest cooking sheet so it doesn't stick. So we're waiting for our oven to come up to temperature, and then we'll uh, we'll start rolling on our pastry. So now the goal is to try to stretch this. We want to try and stretch it longer. So just flour up real good. Got a little crack right there. 
I prefer to do my own rough puff, but I just did not have time. That is so time consuming. So I'll just try and, um, but this is nice because you can see the little butter pieces in here, but I'm going to um, just stretch this a little longer, roll it out. You gotta be careful with it. Make it a little wider because the goal is we're going to cut this in half and we're going to split our meat between it. So I'm just going to take a knife and I'm going to go down the middle. So I've got two sections of this and then I'm going to take my meat in my bowl. I'm going to divide it in half and then I'm going to take and I'm going to roll this out in a real like a long cylinder. I mean and depending on how much meat you want per sausage roll you could even make this you could even stretch this further. I've had some sausage rolls where there's hardly anything at all in there but it's still delicious. So we want to spread this out. Let's bring back you up here. So, I mean, really, I could have used both pastries, but there's one. This is the other half of our sausage. I'm going to roll it out. Actually, I messed up. You got to you got to be over here on the side. And I'll show you why in a second. I haven't made these for a while. See, there's so, there's so much meat here. This could easily be done for more, but that's okay. This is what we've got right now. My other um, puff pastry is frozen. So we're going to take this side, and we're going to fold it over. And we want to pinch. It's kind of like a tuck and a pinch. And you want to seal this. Kind of like when you're doing a pie. I'll bring you down to show it to you in a second. And the same with this one. This is why we, we want to put the meat all the way to one side start down here so you're kind of like pushing and pulling over to seal the pastry and then what I do is I cut these into threes so I'll cut it here, and then I'll cut it here, and then we need little vents. So I'll just take my um, scissors, and I'll just make little snips across the top. You want them deep enough so that the um, the steam and the fat can escape. We have an egg wash. I'm just going to take my pastry brush. This will give it that nice um, 
crispy golden color. It's just one egg, um, a little bit of water, and then I scrambled it up. So we're going to put them on our cookie sheet, our baking sheet. These are going to bake at 425 for 25 to 20, 20 to 25 minutes, sorry. Right here you can see how I like folded it over and then pinched it all the way down. You fold, you want to seal it and then you want to give your, um, slits deep enough to go all the way through so you can see the meat. Alexa, set the timer for 20 minutes. 20 minutes, starting now. So what do you eat with the sausage roll? <laughs> I, um, the past few years, I have been eating this, um, this roasted garlic onion jam. I can find it at Kroger. I love it. It's really, really good. I actually tried to kind of recreate it. Um, Mike and I, we found a great deal on some uh, candy onions. I think we got uh, 25 pounds of onions for 20 bucks. So we caramelized those. I found a recipe, it's called Linda's Pantry. I don't know how I feel about these yet. Mike loves them, he thinks they're delicious. I think it's because I'm not crazy about the balsamic. Very popular recipe, I can leave the link below. I did add a little bit of maple to try to sweeten it up a little bit, and it also has brown sugar. Also a staple in our house, HP. We always have HP. You can buy this here, however, it's a lot cheaper um, to order it from the British Corner store. Uh, we order probably twice a year, I'll buy a big bulk of, um, of items from over there, things that Mike likes. Walking down the high street in England, you just eat them plain. They're delicious, they're greasy, they're wonderful. Sausage roll is something that I learned about um, about four years ago now. We went over to England for our honeymoon. So, uh, whatever you fancy. So they're done, but they're really, really hot. So we're gonna let them sit for a few minutes. And then we're gonna dig into them. Okay, I got the official taster here. I put some um, of the balsamic, this is some of the balsamic, uh, I don't know if it was a jam or a chutney that, that we made the other day. I'm even gonna try it with that, but that's the sausage roll. Thank you, darling. It's delicious. balsamic on, on there. Mike says that the balsamic onions kind of cut through the pastry. Mmm. <laughs> you gotta give these a shot. These are delicious. They're perfect for parties. Uh, they are a little bit dark on the bottom, but that they're, they're really good. They're crispy. Um, anyway, thanks for hanging out. If you enjoyed the video, give it a thumbs up. Let me know if you try these out. I know that I've made these for a few people and they love them. Now you can try it. You've got the recipe. I'll see you next time.